<laughs> Jesus Christ, where the hell is he? I don't know, Mr. Ostex. I can't think where he's got to. Don't worry, Thelma. I'm sure he'll be coming, Sam. That's it, Baz. Fuck us. Come on, fuck us, Baz. Oh, I am, Sam. I'm bloody fucking you. I am, Sam, I am. <laughs> well, what the fuck's that? Um, oh, I think it's a gear stick. Well, get it out of me friggin' ass, will you? Oh, Christ. Can't control myself, Sam. I'm gonna explode. Give it here, Baz. Give it here. Oh, aye. That's the handbrake. Oh, Baz, I'm dripping, I'm dripping. Me love bucket's on fire. Don't worry, Lord. I've got a big thing cold five years to put the flames out. <laughs> Come. Oh shit, look at the bleeding time. Should have been getting married after an hour ago. Oh fucking hell. It's still not too late to change your mind, love, and say goodbye to bad bloody rubbish. It's not worth it, Thelma. I've told you before. Hi, Thelma. You can marry me if you like. It's in the rose. If the grum doesn't show up, you can marry the best man. I don't mind, honest. Oh look, here he is. Oh dad, he's here. Um, sorry I'm late, love. Something came up unexpected, like. I'll give you something unexpected. A four penny one up the bracket. <clears throat> Excuse me, but can we get on with it? I've got a funeral next, and they've already had to drive the stiff round the block six times. All right, all right. Let's get this bloody pantomime over with. But I'm warning you, any more monkey business and you're for the eye jump. <clears throat> Dearly beloved, we are gathered here today. The sanctity of marriage is a holy one which should not be undertaken lightly or wantonly, uh, or with malice of forethought, or uh, um, uh, uh, ashes to ashes and uh, whatever. Ah, yes, here we are, yes. So, if anyone knows of any lawful impediment why Barrington and Thelma should not be joined in holy matrimony, let them speak now or forever hold their peace. Cooey! Baz! Look what you'll be missing if you marry that skinny cow! <laughs> Excuse me. Excuse me, out of the way there. Excuse me. Oi! Cut that out, will you? It's me who has to pick all that shit up afterwards. Oh, dear, this case. Well, I've never been so embarrassed in all my life. I didn't know where to look. Farting in the house of God, for Christ's sake. Why did you invite them, Barry? I had to, Thelma. Damn you, mate. Well, Thelma, if that's the sort of company he keeps, God help you. It's cost me four bloody grand to get you hitched to this idle bastard. Ooh. Have you any idea how many bathrooms I've had to plumb in to raise that money? Have you any idea how many lavies I've had to install, how many urinals I've had to supply and fit to make enough money to get you hitched to this? Born idle, good for nothing, bastard! <laughs> Ah, oh, hey, Mr. Eastax, I've got a bad back, you know. All right? Well, your bad back's never stopped you hanging around with those two sluts, has it? Don't worry, Dad. That's all behind him now, isn't it, Barry? Um. oh, yeah, yeah. That's right, yeah. We're going to settle down and have a family, aren't we? Fucking hell. Um. yeah, yeah, a family. That's right, yeah. Aye, well, you'd better, son. Because let me tell you this. If I ever catch you near those two yo-yo knickered sluts again, I'll tear your knackers off and stick them up your ass. What on earth do you do that for? I couldn't help it. I had a curry last night. Well, why the fuck were you flashing your ass at him in the first place? I had to, Trey. I had to stop it. Baz loves me, Trey. He doesn't love her. And besides, there's something he doesn't know. What doesn't he know? What are you on about? Well... You know what I was on about the other day? What? Not that. I have been to see the doctor. What, and it's definite? Yeah, no doubt about it. Oh, shit. And it's definitely Baz, is it? Aye, it's definitely him. I've checked me dates. Oh, fucking hell. Why didn't you take any precautions? I did. I scrubbed me twat out afterwards with a bog brush and soap. Oh, God, what are you going to do? You'll have to tell him. I can't, Trey. How could I on his wedding day and all? You bloody have to. He's marrying another woman. And meanwhile, you're walking round carrying his crabs. No, Trey, it's no good. Baz and mine's love has been forbidden. It was a love that was never meant to be. Oh, come on, Sam. You'll soon forget him. There's plenty more fish in sea. No, Trey, Baz isn't just another bloke. It was always different with Baz. Sort of longer and thicker at the end. 
It's no good, Trey. This town holds too many memories. Painful memories. Ghosts, what I have got to exercise. I have got to get away. As far away as possible. Somewhere I can go to forget. What? You don't mean... Yes, Trey. I'm going to join the French Foreign Legion. Don't be fucking da. The Foreign Legion's just for blokes, you stupid cow. Is it? Oh, shit. I'll tell you what, though. If you really fancy it, we could go away and get us a nice little job somewhere for summer. Somewhere nice with loads of sand and sea. And fellas, yeah! <laughs> Oh, I'm so excited. I've never been on an aeroplane before. Oh, and Paris too. The city of lovers. You're just a big romantic softie at heart, aren't you? Um, yeah, that's right, yeah. Now, you've got everything, haven't you? May we, mon chéri amour? Tickets? Yeah. French money? Yeah. Toothbrushes? Yeah. So, cos they don't have it over there, you know. I've got so. Air sickness tablets? Yeah, Dalma, how many times have I got to tell you? I've got everything we need. Passports? How can you forget the passports? I didn't forget them. I just didn't remember them, that's all. Oh, my dad was right. We haven't been married two hours and already you've let me down. Don't worry, Thelma. I'll see you all right. We can still have a lovely honeymoon in England, you know. We can stop at the big posh hotel. No expenses spared for you, my love. This'll do. What do you reckon? Oh, Barry, it looks horrible. Oh, come on, love. It's getting late now. We could stop here tonight and then find someone nicer in the morning. Oh, I suppose so. Come on, then. Norman! What are you doing with that n -n 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 knife? I I'm just c c c cutting the, the, the bacon. Something. Oh, shit. Have I left my headlamp on? You're supposed to carry me over the threshold. Oh, bloody hell. What about me back? Oh, be careful, will you? Oh, ah. Ow! Shit! Ouch! Oh! Ouch! Oh, sorry, oh. love. There you go. Ah! Oh, this place is awful, Barry. It's filthy. And look at the state of me. How can I spend my wedding night like this? Don't worry, love. It'll be all right. I bet this place looks quite nice in the daylight. I'll tell you what, why don't you have a nice shower and I'll go and see if I can't order something to eat. I could murder a pickled onion sandwich. Oh, please, Barry. Not on our wedding night. Don't worry, love. I'll see what they've got. You have a nice relaxing shower and I'll be back in two jiffies. There's n n no water. The, the, the boiler's broken down. <gasps> oh, it's you. 
You gave me a start. Oh, there you are, Mr Guthrie. I was just looking for you. I was just telling your l l lovely n n naked wife there's no hot water. The b b boiler's broken down, you see. Oh, I see. Um, is there any chance of a bite to eat, like? Delman and me were starving. Well, the k k k kitchen closes at six, actually. But I could make you some sandwiches if you like. I could c c c cut the crusts off with my n n n knife. <laughs> um, it's all right, Mr Guthrie. We, we don't want to bother you, like, you know. Um, <laughs> I'm sure we'll be all right till tomorrow. Oh, it's no t -t 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 trouble at all. It's a uh, very sh sh sharp n -n 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 knife, you know. It's very sharp indeed. Cuts through anything, even b -b 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 bones. It used to be my m -m mother's, you know. Come on, then, love. Come over here and give us a good leg. Oh, Barry, I don't know. Hey, remember what the vicar said, love? To have and to hold? Well, come over here and have an hold of this. <clears throat> Barry? Yes, love? There's something I haven't told you. What? Well, Barry, you see, this is my first time. Hey, me and all, I've never been married either. No, Barry, it's not that. It's just that I'm Virgo intacta. I thought you was a Sagittarius. I'm a virgin. I've never done it before. Oh, Thelma, love, come here. I think that's the most wonderful thing I've ever heard. You've been saving yourself all this time, waiting for the right man, for me. Don't you worry, love. I'll make sure this night is special for you. Trust me, love, it'll be the most wonderful night of your life. Oh, thanks, Barry. You're so romantic and kind. I'll just go and get myself ready, eh? You just take your time, love, and don't rush things. Jackpot! She'll have a fanny like a mouse's ear. I can't wait. <laughs> Hi there, and welcome oh, to the 13th great. Quarter Sound. International Pro Sound. Like Monster Milk Float Racing live from the Fabodrome, Houston, Texas, Illinois. Here is sunny Santiana, Boston, New Mexico. And in the first heat, Corey Ramrod driving Sasquatch Milk Boy 5000. Hey, McCracker trying to collect empties at the chicane. Just watch this as he hits a yogurt slick on the back straight as Rocky Mountain. And what a lovely cup. Just look at this. I particularly like this little handle on the side. It really is very useful. Fourteen pounds and ninety-nine pence. I used to be in EastEnders, you know. I was married to Debbie. She was my wife. I got knocked over by... Oh, very logical, Captain. Siri. Cling off this whole affair to have vanished from us. Get up. No, get in the hurry. We are receiving cereal from Kringon Vessel. Hurry up, love. I shall in a moment, Barry. Be gentle with me, Barry. Barry? 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 Oh. Norgan! Norgan! Have you got the breakfast ready for chili for? Nearly, Mother. I'm doing them now. I I'm just c c c cutting the, the, the bacon. I hope you haven't been seeing girls again, Gorgon. You know Mother doesn't approve of girls, don't you? Oh, now, where's that bloody sausage gone? It was here a minute ago. A great big pink one, 12 inches long it was. Here, Trey, get a load of this one. Get off you, David! Oh, you yeah. like it? Nah. Hey, some lucky bugger's going to get this inside him this morning. Nah. Stop fanning about with that sausage. Sorry, Mr Guthrie. You see what a difference a day makes? First day in our new job, and you've already forgotten all about bars. Bars who? <laughs> That's the spirit. Hey, you two, stop nattering and get these breakfasts out to them shallies before they get cold. All right, all right, keep your hair on. You know what, Trey? I feel like my life is just beginning. New vistas is opening up for us. You're dead right, Sam. There's a million fellas out there, all of them just as nice as Baz. And none of us ever knows when Mr Right is going to come along. 
It could come today. It could come tomorrow. In fact, for all you know, your Mr. Right could be right behind that door. Right to shine, campus, your breakfast's up. Who was that, Barry? Was it the breakfast? Um, it was no one, Thelma. Um, there's no one there at all. Are you sure? I heard a knock. No, um, it was probably the wind or a cat. Just go back to sleep, love. There's no one there now. What's the matter, Sam? Sam, can you hear me? It's Baz. He's in there. Oh, Sam, I thought you'd got over all that Baz nonsense. I thought you'd forgotten him. I had, but he's in there. Oh, don't be daft. In case you've forgotten, your darling Baz is in Paris on his honeymoon. He's not. He's behind that door. Your mind's playing tricks on your ear. I'll show you. If there's nobody out there, Barry, why are you still standing there? Why don't you come back to bed? Um, I... Oh, perhaps I will. There it is again. Oh, see who it is, will you? Barry, who is it? No one, love. It's just, um, just the Yelva's witness. In a holiday camp, are you sure? Let me see. Tray? It's just the breakfast tray. Mr Guthrie must have left it outside. Phew. Jehovah's Witness indeed. You're quite a joker, aren't you, Barry Asquith? Oh, smells like kippers. Hey, I'm just nipping out for some fresh air, love, and a paper. I won't be long. But what about your breakfast, love? Um, never mind that, Queen. I'll have it when I get back in, all right? Ugh. Definitely him, Trey. It was Baz, all right. <laughs> it can't have been. It must just be someone that looks like him. There must be millions of thin, greasy blokes out there with tashes and beer guts. No, Trey, it was Baz. He's come back for me. He loves me and he wants to elope with me. Don't be daft. He loves you, all right. He told me while I was sucking him off on his stag night. Did he really? Aye, of course he did. But he's not here, Sam. He's in Paris. No, he's come back for me. How could he? He doesn't even know you're here. So how the fuck could he come back to see you? Just take it from me. There is absolutely no way Baz could be... Oh, shit! Oh, look what I've done. I'd best go and get dustpan before Mr Guthrie sees this. Look, you'll stay here and keep away from that window. No. Oh. Morning for the fun seekers. Here are to today's announcements. I regret to inform you that today's bathing bell competition has been cancelled due to the weather, as has the Punch and Judy show. The d -d -d Donkey Derby has been cancelled because Trigger the d -d Donkey is dead. He was sexually mutilated last night with a sharp n -n -n knife. Once again, I would warn campers, especially ladies, to stay in their chalets after dark, as there does appear to be a knife-wielding maniac on the loose in the campsite. P -p Possibly a t -t transvestite. Later tonight, for your c -c comical entertainment, we have Mr Chubby Arse, appearing at the Shingles Nightclub and Leisure Bar, which, for the b -b benefit of any new guests, is situated between the t -t toilet block and the incinerator. The show starts at 8 p p p.m. <clears throat> uh, excuse me. But... If it's about that donkey, it wasn't me. It... I was with me mother all night. No, Mr Guthrie, it's me. Mr Asquith, shall I fall? Oh, 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 I see. And uh, how can I help you? I was just wondering, Mr Guthrie, you don't suppose by any chance you've got a couple of fat lasses working here, do you? The fat lasses? What? G -g 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 girls you mean? Yeah, that's right, two of them. Listen, I never killed no one. I was with me mother. It was me mother. No, oh, man, I told you not to speak to anybody. I'm, I'm sorry, mother. She did deserved it. The dirty bitch. No, Mr. Guthrie, I saw them this morning. Two girls delivering the breakfasts. I thought I recognised them, that's all. You don't know their names, do you? I'm sorry, officer, but I I've told you everything I know. Now, if you'll excuse me, I have to go and t t tend to my m m mother. She'll be won wondering what happened to her b b breakfast. Oh, oh, fuck! 
Fucking, fucking hell. hell! It, it is, is you. you! What the hell are you doing here? What the fucking hell happened to your honeymoon? You've not left her, have you? Oh, aye. I've left her all right. In chalet fucking four, eating a sausage. Well, what the fuck are you doing here? Funnily enough, I was about to ask you the same question. <sighs> well, I brought Sam here to forget about you. Eh? Hey, what do you mean? She were all upset after the wedding, losing you to Thelma and all that. She's in love with you, Baz. She's gone all soft in her head. If she knows you're here, she'll go mad. Yeah, and what the bleeding fuck is Thelma gonna think if she sees you two here? She'll think it's all my doing. You'll have to talk to her, Baz. She'll not listen to me. Oh, fuck. All right, I'll tell you what. I'll keep Thelma in the chalet for as long as I can. You make sure Sam stays put in the hole, cos if Thelma sees either of you, I'm dead. Tell her I'll come and see her and sort it out as soon as I can, like. I'll have to go and keep the missus sweet. Tell Sam I'll be seeing her later. OK, Baz, leave it to me. <laughs> Ouch! Oh, sorry, love. I didn't see you there. I was just on my way out to find you. Oh, it's a lovely day. Do you fancy a walk? Oh, no, love. You don't want to go out there, you know. It's very deceptive, this weather. It'll chill the very bones of you. Oh, but it's glorious, Barry. Look at the sun. Aye, but it can change, you know. One minute it's sunny, the next minute it's blowing a gale. I'm just worried about your safety, that's all. I'd be a lot happier if you stayed in, love. If I didn't know you'd better, I'd think you were trying to keep me here for some reason. Have you got something on your mind, Mr Asquith? Um, no. I think you're telling fibs. If I didn't know you'd better, I'd think you were trying to take advantage of me. Aye, I might be. You'll have to buy me some champagne first. Wait, hey, one large one coming up. Hello, who's this? Sorry. Oh, I see. Can I speak to your son, please? Yeah, thanks. Hello, Mr Guthrie. Yes, it's Mr Asquith here, chalet number four. Could I order... Uh, a pair of big pink tits, please? Um, no, I'm sorry. A big bottle of pink champagne. Yeah, that's right. And a couple of nipples, please. I mean, oh, uh, glasses. What is it, Barry? Something the matter? Flies. The bloody flies are everywhere. I can't see any flies, Barry. Oh, thank God she's gone. I mean, they've gone. The flies, that is. Phew. Pink champagne? Where the bloody hell do they think they are? The bloody Savoy? Come waltzing in here like the Lord and Lady Muck. Think I've got nothing better to do with me time than wait on them day and bloody night. Champagne, indeed. I'll give them sh 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 champagne. Stop grumbling, Norman, and get on with it. All right, Mother. I'm doing it as quick as I can. Have you seen Sandra, Mr Guthrie? Uh, n -n 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 never mind about that. Here, take this to sh Chalet 4, will you? And hurry up. Uh, right. Straight away, Mr Guthrie. It's really nice to be here on our own, Barry. No one to bother us. Yeah? Are you enjoying yourself then, Mrs Asquith? <laughs> Who needs Paris? As long as I've got you all to myself. That's all that matters. Just the two of us, alone, at last. Cooey! Baz! What was that? It sounded like a voice. Um, I didn't hear anything, love. Baz! Oh, fuck it. Well, I definitely heard something there. Um, ah, uh, but... What the fuck? I love you, Baz. I love you forever. Fuck us, will you? Fuck us like there's no tomorrow. Yes? Hoots, Mum. I bricked a bonny wee bottle of pink champagne, the new laddie. I'll just put it here, the new shaller, wee bonny lassie. Come on, Baz. I'm gasping for you. It's been ages. Come on, get it out and fuck us. Keep your fucking voice down, will you? What's going on in there, Barry? Er, uh, nothing, love. I'm just having a shower. Shower? But well, there's no hot water. Um, I'm... Oh, oh, um, I'm just trying to fix the water, love. Uh, get off me, will you? Get off me. Cock woman! Get off your what? Barry! Barry! Have you got someone in there? No, let me stop cock, Thelma. I'm trying to fix the stop cock. Oh, God! Get off! I love you, Baz. I love you. Here, let us suck your cock. I love what? You. I love Barry? You. Open this door at once. There's something going on in there. Barry, let me in this instant. Focus, Baz. Focus! Open this door at once. Can't love it. Stop. Barry! Barry, open this door. Do you hear me? 
Open this door at once. Here, missus. What do you think you were doing in there? What on earth were you playing at? I love him, Dre. I had to be near him. I need to hold him, to feel him, to suck his cock. Sam, I love you and no. all. That's why you've got to understand. Things are different now. Remember at the church yesterday? We heard him say his marriage vows. He pledged his love before the Lord. He promised to be faithful till his dying day. You can't just go sucking him off whenever you feel like it. No, you'll have to get Thelma out of the way first. You're right, Trey. She's become a problem. We're going to have to kill Thelma. Don't be fucking daft. What I mean is, you'll have to meet up with Baz somewhere where Thelma isn't. Oh, I see. I'll tell you what. I'll write him a note and arrange a secret rendezvous. Oh, what? I'll arrange for him to meet you. All you have to do is turn up and empty his nuts for him. Right. Oh, Barry, just look at me eye. It looks dreadful. Oh, it don't look too bad from this side, love. Well, thank God we're leaving, that's all I can say. I can't get out of this place quick enough. Um, actually, I thought we might stop a bit. You what? Well, you see, you know how we ain't got too much money? But you went to the bank yesterday. I love, but that was frog money. We can't spend it here. Mr Guthrie, he's given us a special honeymoon rate. We can stay a week for £22, everything included. Only thing was, I had to pay him in advance, like, you know... You gave him £22? How much should we have all together? Um, let's see. It's 22, one... Um, £22, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> Don't worry, Thelma, lass. We'll have a lovely time. And we can get this marriage constipated and all, eh? Um, perhaps after your eyes gone down a bit, like, you know... <laughs> I'll tell you one thing, Barry Asquith. If I'm staying here, I'm going to ruddy well enjoy myself. And that's swearing. I'm not spending the rest of my honeymoon cooped up in this chalet. I've been stuck here all morning. And you can start by taking me out tonight. There must be a cabaret on in the nightclub, but this eye's going to look awful. The waitress really was clumsy. Your eye'll be fine, love. What about the honeymoon photographs? Oh, this is going to spoil them all. Uh, no, it isn't, love. I, um, forgot the camera. Oh, Barry, how could you? I didn't forget it. I just didn't remember it, that's all. There is a difference, you know, Queen. Well, it's just as well for your sake. If my dad saw this, he'd kill you. Aye. Well, he's not going to see it, is he? Because he's not here. Yes? I've come to fix the water. Where the hell are we? There's no sign of Baz. Are you sure this is the right place? Of course it is. I wrote the note, didn't I? Come on, hurry up. I told him to meet you here in ten minutes. He'll be here soon. Oh, Trey, I'm all excited. I can't wait to have him in my snatch again. I'm aching for him. All right, but keep your voice down. Just get in there and wait for him. He'll be here any minute. <laughs> Sam, Sam, are you in here? Baz, is that you? Hi, it's me. I'm over here. Where are you? I'm over here. I can't see you. Sam, I'm here. Baz, Baz, here I am. There you are. Oh, Baz, at last. <laughs> I've missed you so much. Hi, and I've missed you and all, like. Right? Hey, it's nice, this, isn't it? It's dead romantic. A big roaring fire. You know what? It reminds me of our first time. Do you remember? In the bogs in Burger King? Uh, no. No, hang on. That must have been your brother. Oh, Baz, <laughs> I can't live without you. Every minute you're away seems like an hour. Every hour like a year. Every year seems like about ten years. Every ten years. I love, I get the picture. Oh, Baz, I love you so much. I love you too, son. Come on then, get your cock out and stick it up me quim. We haven't got all day. <laughs> Ooh, yeah. Is that for me? Ooh, oh yes. Ah, oh yes. Ooh, oh, watch out, that's my ring piece. Sorry, love. What a fucking mouth. 
For a fuck, I, I, I mean a shag. I, 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 I mean a fag. So, you're the local tart, are you? Bloody typical. Well, I'll tell you something. It's a bloody good job my Thelma and that good for nothing layabout husband of hers are 500 miles away in Paris. Because he'd be in plaster of flipping Paris if I ever found him sniffing round you again. Because I'd crack his bleeding bollocks with this wrench. <coughs> what the hell is that? Oh, um. It's a bum, Mr. A. Stacks. I know it's a bum, but whose bum is it? Who the hell are you? Oh, this is me mate. He's from Africa. Hmm. If he's from Africa, why is he on a pink arse? No, he's not from Africa. He's been to Africa. He's, um, he's a black and white minstrel. Hmm. Well, how come he can't speak for himself? Oh, he can. It's just that... He's saving his voice. He's on at the club here tonight. Well, that's great, cos I love the minstrels. I've seen them 142 times. Followed them all around the world when I was younger. And I'm certainly not going to miss this opportunity. Oh, the cat's own lady sing this song. Oh, the cat's own racist, five miles long. Bloody hell. I'm in trouble now. I'm in big bloody trouble. Hey, there's no hot water, you know. There is now. And guess who's fixed the fucker? What the f... <laughs> fuck are you on about? Thelma's dad in the boiler room and he thinks Batter's in the black and white minstrels and he's been all over the world to see him and he thinks Thelma's in France and Badger in the call with a pink cast and he's shit himself and Mr Haystacks is going to swatch his knackers with a spanner. Oh, fuck me. If Mr Haystacks sees Thelma at the club tonight, then you're dead, Baz. What are we going to do? Listen. I've got an idea. I'm on the bar tonight, so I can take care of Thelma's dad. Don't worry. You just have to store Thelma for as long as you can. By the time you arrive, her dad will be as pissed as a fart. He won't know where the fuck he is. Are you sure? Jesus, can you smell something? Aye, it's this brush. It's got her shit on it. Is it till the minstrels come on? Won't be long, Mr. A. Stax. There's plenty of time for another drink first. Uh, just a soft drink for me. In all my 46 years, I've never let a single drop of alcohol pass my lips. I, me neither. I only drink for special occasions. If there's something to celebrate, like opening time. Here you are. Get that down, you. Nice drop of orange juice full of vitamin C. That'll put a bit of lead in your pencil. Hello. Oh, about time. Hello, to... can you hear me? A one, a two, a one, two, a testing. <whistles> Ladies and gentlemen, a big hand please for our house b b band, T Tony Order Diamond, and the top group, Fantastic! Er, <clears throat> uh, unfortunately, Tony couldn't be with us t -t tonight as he's been stricken down with the squirts. Very n -n nasty, that. I'm sure you'll all join me in wishing him a s speedy recovery. Next on, we've got a star attraction tonight for your c c comical delectation. He's a little bit saucy, he's a little bit b blue. G -g Good job the kiddies are in bed. Ladies and gentlemen, p -p put your hands together for Mr. Chubby Ars! Can you smell fish? It must be a wife's cunt. It smells of fish, all right, but me cock and fillet. Who the hell's this? This isn't the minstrels. E, my wife's cunt. Fuck no. My wife's cunt, big as a car park, ladies and gentlemen. Parked me car in it last night. Couldn't find it this morning. E, I could tell you a few stories about my wife's cunt. Ladies and gentlemen, it's a multi-story car park. <laughs> The bloody language! This is disgusting! Well, minstrels, have you come far this evening? 
I have open swipes ass, ladies and gentlemen. Hey, no, but seriously, though, my wife was wanking us off last night and I shot in her tits, ladies and gentlemen. She says, Chubby, you dirty cunt. I says, what the fuck are you talking about? You're the one with shit on your tits. She says, no, Chubby, you're the dirty cunt. I says, why? She says, you never washed your hands after you wiped your ass. Drink piss, do ya? Yes. Here, have a paint on me. Hundred and four sisters eyes. I'll say them in shows. Oh, but all, all around the world. Well, that's all for now, ladies and gentlemen. Back after the interval with more gags. A little bit bluer, a little bit saucier. So, you'd best put your granny to bed. I'll be along to fuck her later. Up the arse, ladies and gentlemen. You've been a lovely audience. I'll see you in 20 minutes after I've had a whack. Hurry up! Thelma and Baz will be here any second. Bloody hell! Oh, he weighs a ton, the fat bastard. Chubby arse, ladies and gentlemen. A very f f funny man indeed. He'll be back later. Come on, love. We can sit here. Tony Oldham's lovely wife there on the telephone. I'm afraid she tells me that Tony Squares have r r r r ruptured his hemorrhoids. R r r regular guests will recall that Tony was very bad with his piles last season, and the s situation is he's aggravated a long standing septic rectal prolapse. Tony's in a coma at the moment, and he's not looking too good. So I'll be at the uh, helm this evening, and I'd like to d d dedicate this first song to, to Tony. <laughs> Are you going to buy me a drink, Barry? Hang on, love. My turn's just come on. Let's just sit tight and wait till he's finished, eh? Pull the showcase, a Worry, I've got rid of him. No one's ever going to find him where I've put him. What if he wakes up? He's not going anywhere if he wakes up because I've nicked his pants. Nah! Hey, Trey! It's him! Chubby ass! He is and all! Fuck me! Groupies, my look must be changing. I know what you're after. You want me to sign your tits, don't you? I haven't got a pen. Will me cock do? I'll have to write it in spunk, mine. Nah! Come in here, ladies. Come and have a suck of Chubby's bell end. Eee, hey, shall we? Aye, come on. Eee, hey, I've never sucked off anyone famous before. Bags the first gobble. Tell you what, he's dead good, this fella, ain't he? I want a drink, Barry. Hang on, love. There's no staff on at the moment, like. Maybe Mr Guthrie's at the bar. He'll get us a drink when he's finished, eh? Oh. Is he mm. coming yet? <laughs> I'm not with ya. I'm doing my fucking best. Bloody hell, I am got all day. Give us a shot, will ya? Hey, you're pushing in. Hey, hey, who's a big girl then? Who's got a tiny cock more like it? I can hardly feel it. You're wasting your time, Trey. He's got a dick like a cardboard matchstick. We'll see about that, eh, chubby? Gentlemen, and now back, back with the second half of his act, a big shingles welcome for Mr. Chubby Ars! Come on, Mr. Ars, you're on again. What the hell's happened? I'm afraid he's dead, Mr. Guthrie. He's what? Aye, we was fucking him and his back broke. Oh, Christ! 
What am I going to do? People want their the money back. Oh, Lord, I'll have a riot on my hands. We want Chubby. We want Chubby. Well, the, there's only one thing for it. You two will have to go on instead. Fuck off. Who do you think we are? Now, come on, girls, come on. You've killed the turn. It's only fair. Hey, Trey, we could do a strip. I could shake me tits in Baz's face. Oh, aye, I'm sure Thelma would love that. Oh, yeah, I forgot. Well, well what's it going to be, then? Oh, shit, Trey, what are we going to do? Mm, I know. We want Jobby. We want Jobby. We want Jobby. Oh, l ladies... <clears throat> Ladies and gentlemen, I am the bearer of sad tidings tonight. I re regret to inform you that our star turn, Mr Chubby Arse, has unfortunately d demised backstage due to his back having been b b broken. Oh, that's a shame. I've heard he was good. Our sincere c condolences to his wife, Mrs Arse. The coroner has b b b been informed. However, in t -t true theatrical spirit, the show goes on. So let's put all tonight's d -d -d difficulties behind us and give a nice warm sh -sh -sh shingles welcome to a very special act who've turned up at sh short notice all the way from P Persia, North Africa, Queen S Sandarina and the b -b beautiful Princess Tracy Ola. <laughs> Oh, Christ! Uh, hey, look at this beer mat. Isn't it interesting, Thelma? Look at the colours on it. Don't be ridiculous, Barry. I can't see the dancers. <laughs> Norman, are you looking at those girls again? Oh, oh. I think I'd best be turning in, Thelma. Have an early night, shall we? I'm whacked. Don't be ridiculous, Barry. How rude. These girls have come all the way from Persia. You know, Barry, I'm sure I've seen those girls somewhere before. No, no, you haven't, lass. Don't be silly. How could you? Come on, let's get off, shall we? I think I've left the gas on in the chalet, actually. Christ, is that the time? It's nearly nine o'clock. Oh, no wonder I'm so tired. <laughs> Dad? Sam? Thelma? Mr. S. Sandra and Tracy? Cooey, Baz! There, there, Dad. Ah, oh, Thelma. Barry Asquith! Sandra and Tracy. Norman! Norman! Ladies and gentlemen. Ladies and gentlemen, spoke. My wife's funny. Fuck shite bollocks, ladies and gentlemen. Barry Asquith, where's my wrench? Oh, crack his knackers, so help me God. If I get my hands on that useless idle two time in the of a bastard black and white minstrels indeed. Wait till I get my hands on him. <laughs> Do you like spunk, madam? Well, here, yeah, here's a tot on me. <laughs> <laughs>